Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to configure routing in a React application. Well, here are the development steps. First, we're going to install a React Router DOM library using npm. Well, in order to configure the routing in a React application, we are going to use a React Router DOM library. Next, we need to configure the routing in an app component. Well, in our React application, app component is a root component or a base component. So we have to configure the routing in an app component. Next, configure route for least employee component and then test the route for least employee component. So first step is install a React Router DOM library using npm. So let us go to our project in VS Code and let us install React Router DOM library. And here, let us open a new terminal and here let us go inside our project cd ems frontend and then here just type the command npm install react router dom and then save option hit enter so this will take a couple of seconds and there we go react router dom library successfully installed let us verify in a package.json file so go to package.json file over here and go to dependency section and notice here react router dom library is installed and notice here the version 6.12.1 okay perfect next let us take a look into next step configure routing in an app component well let's go back to the project let's go to app.jsx file and here we need to configure the routing well in order to configure the routing we have to use routing related components from react router dom library so here let us first import routing related components so import so these are the named export so within a curly braces just type browser router so this named export from react router dom library perfect now we have imported browser router so go to return statement and notice here we have header component list employee component and portal component well we no need to configure the route for header component and portal component because these two components are fixed okay so we are going to only configure the route for this list employee component so here we have to use this browser router at a top level for example before this header component let us use browser router component here and let us close this here okay so just enclose all the components within this browser router component and next this is basically a react fragment and within a react fragment we are going to enclose browser router okay perfect next let us use a routes component from a react router dom so here go to import and let us import routes from a react router dom and go to header component after that just call here routes so routes is basically a container or a parent for all the individual routes all right so within this routes we can define the individual routes all right so here let's configure the route for list employee component so first of all let me remove this because we are going to configure the route for list employee component in a routes so here just type route so this route should be from react router dom so here let us first import it so go to import statement and here a route component from react router dom next this route has path property so here we can configure the url for the component for example let us configure the base url or the root url well whenever user enter this url that is http localhost 3000 in the browser then the corresponding component should be rendered right so for that let us use element property and let's configure the component name so here list employee component and then close it okay so here basically we have configured a list employee component that this route will render whenever user hit this link in the browser okay next let us configure one more route well let us say if user enter the url something like this in the browser localhost 3000 slash employees then we have to display the list employee component isn't it so here let's configure the route for the same route 
and then path slash employees and the corresponding component name that is list employee component all right so whenever user hit this link in the browser then the list employee component will be rendered now we have configured the route for list employee component so here you can see the comment so just select it and press control power slash and then here also select it and control power slash so this is how we can add the comment in a jsx code okay perfect now we have configured the route for list employee component next let us take a look on next step next step is test the route for list employee component so let us go to browser and go to our react application and here notice here the site can't be reached so let us go back to our project and go to this first terminal and look at here restarting the terminal because the connection to cell process was lost so let us rerun our react application so just clear the terminal next let us type the command cd ems frontend and then let us run the command npm run dev perfect so our react application is up and running next let's go to browser and just refresh and look at here the base url localhost 3000 well you can use either this ip address or localhost for example here instead of this ip address we can use localhost okay so this is the route for list you know component right for example if you go to app dot jsx file and go to app component so here we have configured the route for the base url so whenever user hit this link localhost 3000 then the corresponding component will be rendered in a browser right so this is what we are testing here localhost 3000 and the list employee component is displayed next we have one more route that is slash employees so whenever user hit this link localhost 3000 slash employees in the browser then the corresponding list employee component will be rendered right so let us test this so let us go back to browser and here just type the url localhost 3000 slash employees and hit enter and there we go the list employee component is displayed all right it means we have successfully configured the route for list employee component all right so in upcoming lectures we will be creating a lot more components and we will also configure the route for those components okay so i hope you understood how to configure the route for react components all right so we have to use these three important components from react router dom to configure the routes and make sure that this browser you know router component should be at the top and next we need to enclose all the individual routes within a routes component all right perfect in next lecture onwards we will start implementing add employee feature all right get i will see you in the next lecture